How's it going, everybody? Bennett here from developerpurpose.com. Today, I wanna to do just a quick one on feedback loops and the importance of feedback loops as a developer. So let's get into it. Getting really, really good at feedback and getting feedback quickly makes you a better developer. One of the first things that I try to do whenever I'm writing a new piece of code is get that code running as quickly as possible. Now, there's a couple ways that you can get code running. First, you can write a unit test. Um, and this is the way that I would recommend for most cases. Let's write a unit test. That way we're building the test and the code at the same time. And that test will continue to live on after you're done with it. Um, you could rerun that test over and over again and start to see how the code behaves um, under test. So that's the first thing I would say, start with a unit test. Another option is to use API endpoints to run your code. Uh, so you might write a little endpoint or add your code to an existing endpoint so that you can quickly, either in Postman or via the docs or something like that, quickly recall that endpoint over and over again to get your code running. Um, if you work in the front end, you can do similar things with end-to-end uh, -end testing. So you might write something in Cypress, for instance, that continually reruns your front end code to make sure that it's working the way you expect. Sometimes a uh, situation is a little bit more tricky. Maybe it involves integration, a bunch of different parts of the system working together. Uh, in that case, I recommend that you write a quick script. I usually call it my scratch pad script that allows you to run your code under test, uh, the code that you need feedback on rapidly, repeatedly. So this script should bootstrap all of the things you need in the database or in Redis or in whatever you need, and then uh, it should be able to run and rerun, tear down that information after it's run um, so that you can really quickly rerun the, your code over and over and over again. But the important thing to know is that you're able to just type a command quickly on your command line and run your code. Um, the quicker you can get to that point with a new task, the better. And then the more the, that you continue to do that, uh, and it should become a habit to do something like that, where you switch back over to the command line, just press the up button to see the last command, hit enter, and you're rerunning your code. Make a change, go back to the command line, up button, hit enter to rerun your code. And as you can quickly iterate, see what your code does, see where the errors are, um, see what the output is, that's how you get really good at software development. It's not because you're some brilliant god coder who can just dream up, imagine the perfect code. It's because you built a feedback loop that helps you continually improve your code and do it rapidly. <laughs>